One of the pieces, and I'm going to jump around a little bit because I see questions coming in. I want to hit all of them. We only have a certain amount of time with you, is the idea of what's going on with America's middle class. And you wrote, actually, that we're at the tip of an economic mega crisis. Inflation is destroying the middle and working class. We need to turn our attention to rebuilding our nation now. How do we help the middle class? Well, there's a lot of things that we, we need to be doing over the short term and the long term. And over the long term, you know, the short term issues are that what's going to what's devastating the middle class right now are is inflation. But even more than that, the rate rise in interest rates. I was at a um, at a meeting yesterday with a group of African American business small business people in uh, in Cleveland, and one of the you know women said to me. That her, she had been the CEO of a company that had been in her family for 80 years. It's a sausage company, and very, very successful, and a lot of employment in the community, a lot of prestige, and that she had to close the company recently because she could not get a loan from the local bank. She can't get a loan from the local bank because the local banks are holding on to their money because the interest rates are so high, and that interest rates have, you know, everybody's been sandbagged. The interest rates are pushing down the, um, the, the the value of the T-bills that they have to hold as reserve. And they don't, in case there's a run on the bank, they don't want to let go of those T-bills. So they're not letting, or, or uh, lower their capital holdings. So, they, um, so they're holding on to it and they're not loaning even to really credible established businesses. And so all of these businesses, if you go, you go through that part of key, uh, Cleveland, it's called the Lee Harvard section of Cleveland. And all of the b- businesses are boarded up since the COVID pandemic. The few ones that are remaining are now getting starved to death from the lack of capital. And that's happening all over. I mean, the, the interest rates, you look at my kids' generation, I don't know anybody in my kids. My kids all went to the best schools in this country, luckily. You know, they're very, very fortunate. I don't know any of them, even the ones who are 39 you know, years old, that have bought their own homes because the interest rates are so, and they're all choking under these credit card debts. There's 100 million Americans who, you know, who, are, um, who are going like, on the edge of bankruptcy because of medical debts that are then put on their credit cards. And now the credit cards are you know, going up to 20% interest or more. And it's crushing our country, and it, it is destroying the middle class. It's the last thing that is sucking the last lifeblood out of the middle class, and it's not a good solution to inflation. Um, so, you know, one of the things we need to do is really, uh, you know, as president, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, use all of my power to put pressure on the Fed to, you know, to to reduce the the use of these these high interest rates that are. Are, are utterly destroying and inflation is bad and we need to control it. But the, the interest rates at this point is worse. So um, we don't have, you know, we all got sandbagged by it. And what is causing the inflation? Well, the inflation is coming from the forever wars and from the pandemic. We spent $16 trillion on the pandemic that we don't have and we just had to print the money. And now we're experiencing an inflation and we spent $8 trillion on wars since uh, Iraq war, $8.1 trillion, and we don't have that money. And we're, and, you know, we're borrowing a billion, we're spending $113 billion in, in Ukraine. We're borrowing a billion dollars a day from the Chinese and Japanese um, to buy, uh, to, 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 you know, to, to pay for these debts pay for the interest on the debt. We don't have the money. And in many ways, we're like, you know, the alcoholic who, uh, you know, who can't pay his mortgage and who is has gone with his milk money for his kids and is buying rounds at the local bar thinking that he's, you know, for strangers, thinking that he's making friends. And that's the way that we're behaving as a nation. And we got to stop it. We, you know, we can no longer be the policemen of the world. We have to unravel the empire and start investing back at home. 